Hey, I'm Anfa. I'm a music producer and sound designer, but I only use open source software and Linux. In this very short video, made without any editing, I'm going to show you a new delay plugin, which is called Delay Architect. And I've heard that it's based on a plugin from Logic Pro, I believe. Uh, it's so much based on it that it even loads its presets. You can import a preset and uh, yeah. So what this plugin does, I have prepared a little synth patch to test it. Yay. It's uh, made in Odin 2, a really nice little virtual analog synthesizer, open source, of course. And I'm going to use it to demonstrate Delay Architect, what it can do and how does it sound. So the idea is you can um, insert delay taps like, like this. I've just created delay taps. I can delete them. Uh, we can maybe make this a little bit shorter. So I'm going to move this. You can see I can uh, zoom and pan my timeline here because this is a timeline. We're going to edit the sound sequence on the timeline. And we also have a grid. Uh, this plugin syncs to tempo by default, I believe, but can also not. We can change the resolution. And now we can insert taps. We can insert any type of rhythm we want. And I think if we make this, you know, dense enough, it can even act as a as a reverb of sorts. I'm gonna try and reset it. Let's see. Oh, does it have a reset function? I don't think it does. Um, that's maybe something missing. This plugin is in very early stages of development, or it was had like had the first release. Does delete delete stuff? Oh yeah, it does. Okay, can I like use arrow keys or something to speed things up? Ah, okay. All right, let's reset everything. All right, let's say we want a simple 16, 16th note delay. And the cool thing about this is we can add a bunch of variations. So the first most obvious thing is, of course, the level of the sound. So we can make it go quieter with each tap. Try to do it like that. I wish the user interface could be made larger. All right. Or we can make it go quieter and louder and whatever. Like it can even get louder than the source material. We could even make it go uh, louder and louder still. And if we use that all all wet, so disable the wet signal. <laughs> Sorry, disable the dry signal. <laughs> we can get something like that. But still, this is very much not the most interesting things we can do because there's also filters and pitch shifting. <laughs> So we will be able to do some really crazy stuff. Okay, let's see maybe filters. We have cutoff and resonance that we can modulate per tap. So if I select a tap and enable a filter, you know what? Maybe I will turn these off or just delete them. We'll start building one tap at a time. I'm going to do all wet. 
Okay. So this is my signal. It's... Can make it louder. We have cutoff. So cutoff goes from two points because we have a high pass cutoff and a low pass cutoff. Right? So we have low pass and high pass. So we can define a band that this every delay tap is going to pass through. And we can also play with resonance. I'm not sure what's that going to do. Okay, so... <laughs> this is quite crazy. Because I, this is one tap, but if I add more... Let's try and do this. Uh, okay, if I click below this middle line, I'm going to change the high pass. If I'm clicking above the middle line, I'm going to change the low pass. Oh no, it just clicks to whatever is the closest. Ah, but we need to enable the filters. Okay, I'm going to enable it for tap B, enable it for tap C. Yeah! So we have a... We can have like... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna insert more and... Try and make like a filter sweep of delay taps. So every tap will relieve, reveal, excuse me, more frequency content from the original signal. Ah! until it's just high passing. <laughs> okay, now I need to enable this for every single tap. I wish there was a way to edit them in bulk, like so drag and select a bunch of taps. Okay, let's listen this, to this. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Wow! I want to save this as a preset. Is there an option to do that? No, that's just import. Can I... Oh, damn, I, I can't... Oh. Hey, wait. If I do edit, save state. Okay, I can do this as a... All right. So I can save... Where's my presets folder? Presets... Hey, delay architect. Yep. Filter sweep up. Band pass. Filter sweep up. Sixteenth. Zero one. Carla state file. Okay, this is Carla state, not the plugin state. Okay, whatever. Uh, the plugin is obviously quite bare bones f right now. For example, it would be nice if I could just click and drag to create a line and, like, you know, do kinds of stuff. But this is already pretty cool. And yes, it, re it requires a lot of manual work to dial in all the things. But <laughs> the results are really awesome. <laughs> okay, so we have cutoff. We can we have resonance. Oh, I'm affecting the resonance already. Whoa, yeah. Ah, okay, because I can change that via this or via this. It's the same thing. Sweet. There is also tune, which is pitch shifting. I can tune up. Okay, we can try and make this like tune down with each tap. I don't know how it's not gonna sound. Oh, we need to enable this. Negative 1200 cents. That's going to be two octaves. Okay, I think this is a little bit too... Um, like 28 cents. Okay, 28 cents is like a semitone. Sorry. 
quarter semitone. Okay, it's quite, uh, I think it's quite, um, Right, let's enable this. I'm gonna enable tuning or pitch shifting on every single tap. And let's see what happens. <laughs> That's quite, quite interesting. Let's now play with panning because we can of course make this ping pongy. Left, right, left, right. Maybe a bit coming back to the center. And of course we can use feedback. So we can enable that and it's going to say from which tap it will source the sound. Let's say it's gonna be tap uh, C. Okay, and there is a fader. <laughs> that is really cool. Uh oh. <laughs> I need to be careful because I have resonance on and this can quickly get out of hand. What about using the last tap, the H tap? Hmm. That died off pretty quickly. That's pretty weird. Let's try the E tap. So this one here. Oh my goodness, it perpetually goes lower and lower. That's so cool. So, ah, oh, yeah, because it pitches, it pitches it down and then it, I think what happens is it like takes the signal that happens in here after it's processed and then feeds it back here. So when it was, when, if the signal was pitch shifted at this point, it's going to enter pitch shifted here and it's going to be pitch shifted even more because it's going like awesome. <laughs> that is really cool. <laughs> I'm gonna save this preset as well. Alrighty. So uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you today. This is Delay Architect. I'm going to link you the GitHub page where you can find this plugin. You can download it, you can compile it, uh, you can help the developer um, also report any problems and uh, other stuff. Yeah, there's also width and pan. What, what is that? Ping ponging. I don't know. There's probably some features I haven't discovered yet, but. This is a very interesting plugin. We haven't seen anything like that in the free and open source audio production world. So I hope you'll like it. And yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Also, huge thanks to all the people who are supporting me financially. They are helping me making videos like this one. And if you, dear viewer, would like to join them, please go to patreon.com slash anfa or liberapay.com slash anfa where you can, yeah, just support me. Bye.